So sitting down whenever you're ready, we will work on those hips and hamstrings today, getting really focused on our lower body. Of course, yoga will do the whole body, but our main focus will be on the legs, hips, hamstrings today. Front, back, side to side, middle of the leg. Sitting comfortably. You don't have to sit like this. You can sit whatever works for you. Push gently on the knees. Sit up straight. Long breath in. And as you sigh it out, feel the feel gravity on the weight of the hips. Big breath in. Sigh it out. And one more time. And we'll start with some stretches. Breathe through the nose that deeply now. We'll inhale, reach high to the sky. Exhale, find a lateral lean to one side. Let's inhale high through the middle. Exhale, other side, side stretch. This time as you inhale through the middle, look up, reach up, back bend. Exhale, hands through the heart. Round the back, cat back, sit all the way back into the back of the low back and hip, back pocket. Hands together, inhale, reach up. Exhale, easy twist to the side. Look back over the shoulder. Moving with the breath, inhale back through the middle. Exhale, twist to that other side. Inhale, right up through the middle. Exhale, down the center, round your back. Sitting up tall, switch the leg that was in the front, if you're seated like this, or move your legs around a little bit, wherever you are. Hands at the heart, we'll do that same sequence again. Inhale, mountain, back bend. Exhale, lateral lean to one side. Inhale, middle back bend. Exhale, lateral lean, other side. Inhale, middle back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, easy twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, up. Exhale, round your back. Sitting up tall, we'll straighten one leg out. Keep the other foot close to you. Use the heel of your opposite hand to gently massage along the arch of your foot. Then use your same side as your foot hand and gently pull each toe back. Just about 10 seconds, each toe. Think loving thoughts to your feet. Then go through each toe and give each toe a little twist, lubricating the joint. If you don't like touching your feet, don't worry, you can wash your hands later. <laughs> They're beautiful feet. Okay, now around your ankle, just make a little light touch, little circle around the ankle. There's not much tissue there, but we're just giving some attention to that area, some neurological stimulation. Then come up to your calf muscle and gently massage along the bone, along the tibia, the big bone, right where the muscle joins the bone. Just a gentle pressure, pressure point massage. And then get into the calf muscle. We can move the calf, calf muscle around a lot more than we think. And most of us don't give it as much attention as it needs. Now let's slip our hand underneath and squeeze the back of the calf muscle. 
tight calf muscles can cause knee problems, ankle problems, even fake sciatica, fake plantar fasciitis. Now let's give some attention to this other leg. Use both hands and just do a long, gentle massage down the leg. Down that thigh. And then a light tapping with the heel of your hand on that other leg, quadricep area. You can go around the leg a little. Now let's inhale, reach high, sit up tall, stick the tailbone out, exhale, reach over your foot. Round your back, look down. Let your head be heavy and long, long back. Stay there. You can pull a little, or you can just melt there. Now let's start to come back up slowly and let that leg move a little left and right. And we'll switch legs, put that other leg out, bring the opposite foot close to you. It doesn't have to be super close. Your other hand will do the arch of the foot. And then the same side hand will pull the toes back. And then each toe will get a twist. Think about your foot, foot how wonderful it is. Someone who's missing a foot would love your foot. So it's a blessing, even if you don't like the way it looks. I love you, foot. Little circles around the ankle. Press your fingers gently along the bone. Up towards the knee. Let's massage the calf muscle. You can get in the calf deep. Especially if you've been doing that leg workout. <laughs> Put those fingers under and squeeze. Yeah, and let's focus on this other leg. We'll inhale, reach high, scoot the hips back a little bit. Exhale, reach over the leg. And you could do a little yin yoga, just melt here. Keep flexing the foot, feel the muscle starting to relax as it stretches. Or you could be a little more active, move around. As you come up, touch your leg. And then the quadriceps here, the big thigh muscles from your hip down to your knee. Give it some gentle massage strokes to wake up the nerves and the blood flow. Cobbler's pose will bring both feet together. Sit up tall, pulling gently on the shins. And take a pause here and let your Brain, feel the sensations in your feet. Rub your feet gently against each other. Then holding the shins, pull a little to sit up straight. Feel like you could get longer or taller 
from your head to your tailbone. Feel the weight of your legs and gravity pulling on the hip, weighing us down. Inhale, sit tall. On the exhale, elbows at your inner thighs, but keep your back straight as you come forward. Back straight. Back straight. Push those knees down. Back straight. Pull on the leg. Breathe and stay calm through the nose. Then back off. Slide the feet a little further away from you, but still in that same cobbler shape. So we have the open hips. Now inhale, sit up tall. And on the exhale, you can allow your back to round. I like to come all the way down to my feet. Touch the feet, pull the toes back, let your head be heavy. And take your time to exit the pose, uncurling your back as we sit up. We'll bring the feet out in front, the hands wide to the side, walking the feet as wide as the mat. And tick tock a little left and right. Feel those hips, feel those legs. Feel those hips, feel those legs. And then when you're ready, we'll leave the legs to one side for mermaid. You want to put in front of the other thigh so you're not sitting on top of bone. And look away from whatever direction the knees are pointed in for a seated twist. And we'll come up a little. The hand on the same side as where the knees are pointing is going to rest on the floor. The other hand is going to reach overhead for a side body opening. This same side arm as your knees could come down to the floor to forearms if you want. Now, I don't want you to actually get off the ground, but imagine you're going to get off the ground. So activate like you're trying to lift your hips up off the ground for three, three, for two, and on one, back off from the hips and just circle that top arm shoulder. Switch your roux. Take your time to come back up. Support yourself with your arms. Tick tock your leg. Let's drop both knees to the opposite side now. And at first, we're just going to lean back and look away from the knees for a little twist. If this bothers your wrist or elbow or your arms, you can come or so, your wrist or your shoulders, you can come down to forearm. Slowly release to the middle. And now we'll find that lateral stretch. You can have the same side as the knees arm straight or down on the forearm. Once you reach overhead, imagine you're going to get up off the floor with your hips. Back off out of the hip, circle the arm. Backward circle. And slowly come up and over. All fours. Tabletop pose. If you're on a hard surface, you can roll up your mat. We don't need the whole six feet. Inhale, roll up the spine. Let your hips stick up. If you look at a cow, their hips are high. Let your hips lift a little more. We're focusing again on the hips and hamstrings today. Then tuck the tailbone. You can roll all the way up to your shoulders and neck, but really I want you to feel the back of the pelvis. 
Now with the tailbone tucked, imagine you're going to sit back to child. So just push back towards the back of the mat a tiny bit. Then come out when ready. Inhale. Look up. Cow. Focus on the hip lifting. Exhale. Tuck the tailbone round. Slowly sit back towards the feet. Come back up for one more of those. Inhale. Cow back. Exhale. Cat back. Sit back part way. Now we'll turn the knees out like we were going to do child's pose, big toes together, but we're going to stop in puppy dog. So we'll just bend the elbows and drop the chest. Feel the hips sitting back. Almost, it's like we were halfway to child and we stopped. Then we'll push back child's pose, knees wide, big toes touch. Let your upper body melt into your mat. Find your breath, slowly breathing in and out through the nose. Now, probably you were clenching the hips when we first got into child's. You're feeling the joints around your knees. I want you to try to imagine that I put a 10 pound sandbag on your low back. So tuck the tailbone a little and then feel as if your hips were sinking closer to the floor, even if they don't move. Now let's make it a little more active. Just lift your elbows, lift your palms so your fingertips are in the mat like a cat's claws, and then push back. Use your cat claws to pull yourself back up, and we'll come into tabletop all fours. From tabletop, Let's reach the right arm forward, left leg back. Nice, big stretch. Balance, breathe. Now placing the hand down, but keep the foot up. Bend the back knee and kick the ceiling. Feel your glute. Five, four, lift it. Three, two. Now leave it lifted if you can. Back off a little, circles to the side. Fire hydrant circles, try not to dump into your opposite hip. Big circles. Backward circles. Then extend the leg long and swing it over to the opposite side of your body. Tuck the toes and push into the heel. Then look over the opposite shoulder of the same leg that's straight and try to see that foot back there. Lean a little to the side. Slowly release. Come up to kneeling on your mat if your knees are okay with that. Unlike camel, we won't be doing a back bend. We'll be holding the hips and keeping the back straight so we can focus on our hip flexors and our rectus femoris quadricep muscles. Just leaning back, back straight, feel that stretch down those tight thighs. Back out, should be a little intense. Roll those wrists before we do the other tabletop routine. We'll come back down to all fours. Opposite arm, opposite leg of last time. <laughs> Hold the balance, excuse me. Holding balance. Release the hand, bend the back knee, lift it up, stretch to the ceiling. One, two, feel your gluteal muscle. Four, five, six, circle that knee to the side, but avoid dumping into the opposite hip. You can do this with your forearms on the mat if you're feeling your wrist too much for wrist sake. Circle backwards if you haven't already. Then take the leg straight, 
Swing it to the other side. Look over the shoulder and see your opposite foot on your opposite side. Slowly release, sit back, child pose. If you felt your wrist a lot on that routine, turn your palms up. Focus on how your legs and lower body are feeling so far. We'll come up to all fours when ready. Walk the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, cup the toes, and we'll lift the knees for crouching tiger. From here, just only step back your right leg. Push into your right heel, leaving your left knee bent. Imagine I was standing on the back of your heel. So I'm pushing that right heel down towards the ground, the left knee still bent. One more breath. Then release, let's come back to table. Shake it out. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees only. Step your left leg back to the back of the mat. Right knee stays where it was. Send your hips high. Press down into your left heel as if it was going to touch the floor. Slowly release back to table. Come up to kneeling. Do some wrist rehab. I love to do some jellyfish hands. Circles both direction, and a little left and right. We won't be on our hands much more in this routine, but we have one more thing to do on our, our wrists. First, we'll do a camel. Toes can be tucked. Hold the low back or the back pockets. Walk your elbows together. Lift your heart. Then as you lean back, don't let the hips come with you. Keep the hips stacked over the knees and feel that unlocking the front side body. So we sit a lot or we do a lot of leg work and then it pulls us forward. This is the counter pose for that. Then when you're ready, we'll come out, find a happy cat, just a gentle cat that wants you to pet its back. Coming into neutral spine, look over your right shoulder and stick the hip out, left shoulder, stick, stick the hip out. Coming back to the middle, get ready for down dog, walk the hands forward, tuck the toes, send the hips high, both heels reach for the floor, but they do not have to touch. Then let's soften our elbows and walk left and right, right here in place. Let the head be heavy and start to walk up towards the front of the mat. Come into a half lift, lengthening your spine long. Exhale, round the back, look back through the legs. Pull lightly if your knees are micro bent. Circle the arms to come up slowly to standing. We haven't stood up yet, so be careful. Go slow, don't get dizzy. Look up through the hands, back bend. Namaste, hands to the heart. Your feet are one foot distance apart. Now for this next routine, you have to promise me you're gonna to listen to your low back and be safe. So if you do feel your low back too much, bring your hands closer to your torso. The further the hands are away, the more they could pull on the low back. And then the other safety tip, keep your knees micro bent. If your legs are locked out and you try to bring your arms forward, it could just be only pulling on your low back, not getting the legs. So 
So a small bend in the knees, arms overhead or here. Then start to hinge forward at the waist like you're handing something to somebody who's far away from you. I don't usually do it this way because a lot of people lock out those legs and I see them hurting their back. Tuck your chin in. But for our legs, we're going to do it this way today if it works for you. Bend the left knee, straighten the right leg all the way. Let your head be like a nine pound anchor pulling you closer down your right leg. Now let's back off halfway lift. Straighten left leg, bend right knee, come down your left leg as far as it feels safe. Sending your left hip back slightly. Coming back to the middle, halfway lift. Exhale, round your back, fold. Circle your arms, start to slowly come back up with the arms overhead, if you can. Hands back to the heart. Now this one could be a little dangerous if you lose your balance. So you might want to have your hips up against the wall or have something close by to hold on to. You could also have a yoga block. But it's a wonderful stretch, so we'll try it. We did it a version of it when we were in table and we swung our leg over to the other side. So first we'll start out with the right ankle or whatever ankle you want to start with in front of another ankle. So right in front of left maybe. Then come down your leg. You can stop halfway, make sure you feel safe. You could hold on to something or have a yoga block in front of you as you come the rest of the way down, safety first. Tuck the chin in. Now walk a little over towards your right. So the front leg, walk to that side hip a little bit. Walk over to the left a little. Walk back to the middle. Come up halfway. Switch your ankle. Put the other ankle behind. Be careful. Come down. Turn towards the front leg hip. And turn away from the front leg hip. Back to the middle. Start to slowly come up. Uncross the feet. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Hands come back to the heart. We'll turn the feet out a little wider than our hips for frog. First, we'll do three frog salutations. So we'll sit down, knees towards the toes. Be careful of your knees. Then circle the arms to come back up. Push into the feet. Sit down slowly. Elbows to knees. Circle to come up. Sit down, elbows to knees. Stay there. Tuck your tailbone. Then start to come back up slowly. You want to step your feet as wide apart as they go for this next part. You might want to turn sideways on your mat. I got a little dizzy from moving too fast, so I'm just going to stop for a moment. Eyes open. Take a deep breath. If you ever get dizzy, try to sit with your eyes open, making sure you're safe. We'll reach the arms up as wide as they'll go for star pose. Big stretch. And we'll bring the hands through the heart, turning those feet out at 45 degrees. Sit down, place the hands on the inner thighs. Push the knees back. Legs are about as wide as they'll go. Look down, tuck the tailbone, look back behind your feet. Keep pushing the thighs back a little as you look up. Hands are on the inner thighs, you're pushing back. 
stick out the toe bone, stick out the chin. Lots of releasing in the back of the body. Tuck the tailbone round, back of the pelvis, back of the hip. Low back, middle back, upper back. Look up, push gently on those inner thighs. Then we'll slowly come up, straighten the legs, bring the hands to the heart. Ninja lunge. We'll sit down again, bending both knees. Straighten one leg while the other knee bends. You can pick up the straight leg toes if it feels safe to you for balancing. Place your elbows, your same side elbow on the bent knee. As an added bonus, rest on that leg. So you're just like in side angle, you're going to put your forearm on the thigh, then reach the other hand up to the sky, the straight leg hand up to the sky as an option. If you don't feel safe, put your toes back down. Wonderful stretch. And slowly come back up through the middle, star, straighten everything. Hands come back to the heart, other direction, bend the knee, forge the toes. The opposite leg is straight, elbow to knee. You can pick up the straight leg toes if possible. Hold that. Then the bent elbow. Bent knee side, rest on the thigh, reach the other hand up. Push the bent knee side back a little. Slowly release. Take the time, come back to the center. Bring yourself back up, star. Block your feet so Feet parallel to the edges of the walls or your mat. Hands to hips for transition. Start to hinge forward at the waist. Slide your hands down your legs and hold on. Pull a little on your leg. Come up halfway, turn your big toes in a little if you don't suffer from sciatica. Pigeon toe your feet, reach down for the floor, push on the mat, send your weight back into your heels, safety first, be careful. You can lift the toes a little, but you wanna be cautious. Toes down. Block your feet to the edges of the mat. Now reach through the legs and pull on the back of the mat. Send your hips back. Weights in the little toe side of your feet. Start to back out. Take your time. We'll just wiggle the feet closer together. And we'll come into a deep squat. Then take yourself all the way down to your mat. Both legs out in front when ready. Inhale, reach high to the sky. Circle those arms. Exhale over your straight leg. Round your back. Look down. Relax the shoulders and neck. And let's let ourselves just melt here. A little yin yoga. Feel the tissue stretching gently, softly. Feel the muscles getting warm and relaxing. Allow yourself this moment of softness. Now let's trick our brain to allow us to stretch deeper. Lightly hold your leg. Inhale, sit up straight, pull on the legs. Exhale, come forward with a straight back until your body tells you to stop. Then inhale, back off, tell your body I'm safe. Exhale, pull. 
Inhale, back off. Exhale, pull, but no one too far or too much. Now stay there right in the intensity. So it should be the most you can stretch right now. And you may be feeling that real intense feeling of getting a deep stretch in the back of the leg. Then release your grip and slowly sit back up. Bring the right knee with you or whichever knee you want to start with. Hug that knee in. Twist to look back over your back. Shoulder back hand can come to the floor. Gently switch sides. Find a twist on that other side. Slowly come back to the middle. We'll bend our knees, scoot towards the buttock, and take your time to lower down to the ground. For a moment, just feel your legs. Feel what you've done so far. We'll hug both knees into the chest. Nice big squeeze. Loosen up with some leg circles. Back the other direction. Drop both knees to one side, arms out like an airplane, or sometimes I like to put my hands behind my head here and squeeze the legs together as you look away from the knee. Switch sides, take your time. Come back to the middle and do anything you feel like you want to wrap up with. Maybe you want to do an inverted hamstring stretch or you wanna do some movements. Bridge is a nice hip flexor release. Just see what you need. Ask your legs, what do you need right now from me? Let yourself play a little. And then I suggest, if you can, in the days ahead, find some time to get your feet barefoot. You could be safe and do it in your house, walk on the cold tile floor and the carpeting, or just sit in your chair and rub your feet back and forth or tap them lightly. Or if you're in a safe place outside, try to get some rocks or grass or sand in your toes. And when you do, tell your feet, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you have a blessed, beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. Stay in Shavasana as long as you can. Don't get up until you absolutely have to. Namaste.